Hello everyone, my name is Sestan Dias and you are at Basic Marine Engineering. Today we will be discussing a topic on surging. So surging in turbochargers. I had this question from one of my students. So I thought why not discuss this today. So let's understand what exactly is surging. Now to put it in simple words, surging is just a howling sound made by the turbocharger. How does it happen? So basically when there is reverse flow of air inside our turbocharger, we have some vibration taking place inside the turbocharger. So that is what is creating that howling sound. If this keeps happening for a longer period of time, obviously it can damage parts. It can damage your bearings, it can damage your impeller. So you have to be careful, you have to try to avoid it. So what are the causes? What can cause these things? Uh, one most common cause is rough weather. Whenever you have rough weather, there is a possibility of rolling and pitching and there is the load fluctuation which takes place because of that and that could lead to surging. So why I mentioned this first because this is the most common reason you'll find that it happened. The other reasons will be suppose you have an imbalanced engine okay the power balancing is not done proper one unit is firing at a higher load one unit is firing at a lower load so that could also cause this surging. You can also have your suction filter been choked okay your silence is not working properly. You can have your air cooler been clogged. So because of that, there is a pressure built up at that area. Then if you have your bearings worn out, if you have your exhaust gas boiler not cleaned for a long period of time and it's been very clogged, if you have your exhaust side of your turbocharger not cleaned or it is clogged, that can also create a problem. If you have your scavenge ports, okay, if you have your scavenge ports uh, dirty, uh, that could also create scavenge high temperature, that could also create. If you have, you know, your grating on top, which is there, if that is clogged or blocked because of some reason, that could also create. Sometimes you have some, you know, fuel problems that can also lead to that. If you have a unit cut out, okay, or some units are cut, cut out because of some reason, that could also lead to that. And if very rarely you might have some design problems but that mostly is taken care of the first itself. Now coming to the solution part or prevention how can we do it. So the first thing let's say your rough weather is going on and you have surging taking place during that point of time. So that time what you can do you can reduce the speed so definitely that will reduce your problem. Secondly you will have to maintain your lube oil the level as well as your lube oil quality has to be maintained so that you don't have your bearings getting worn out. You will have to keep your air cooler clean. Make sure you are draining regularly so that you know there is nothing remaining inside. You are doing a regular air cooler cleaning, air side as well as your water side. Make sure you are regularly cleaning your suction filter. You are cleaning your silencer. You are checking your silence. You are doing sooth blow. Okay, sooth blow is for exhaust gas boiler. So if you are doing regular sooth blow, the probability of exhaust gas boiler getting dirty is less. So it will, you know, it will not get dirty very fast. Plus, you will have to clean exhaust gas boiler very often. Every month will be enough, but it depends on your voyage, what kind of voyage and how was the condition. You will have to keep an eye on the manometer. Same way, you have to make sure you clean your scavenge manifold and your scavenge ports. Clean your exhaust manifold, check your cylinder heads, overall your exhaust valves regularly so that you don't have any clogging happening. Make sure you are maintaining your turbocharger. First step for maintaining turbocharger will be regular doing your turbocharger washing, your dry and wet as well. Then a regular maintenance of turbocharger, regular keeping an eye on your lube oil quality by doing lube oil analysis test regularly. Then most important is regular taking main engine performance. Your indicator cards, your performance you have to check regularly so that you know that all your units are firing properly and the performance of your engine will come to know. Hope you have understood the topic. If you feel I have missed out anything, you can comment below. If you are new to my channel, go through my other videos and see how you like them. If you have liked this video, do like it and do share with your friends. It's more important to share the knowledge and go through the other videos. Even you can go through some other channels. They are very good matter which is laid up 
and people have put lot a lot number of good videos you can go through them and you can utilize your time in learning good things hope this video helps till my next video best of luck keep safe and take care